Hello everyone, today I will be sharing a recipe which is called garlic chilli shrimp or garlic chilli prawn. Now the ingredients required are very simple. I have taken 500 grams of shrimp or prawn which are deveined, cleaned and washed. I am going to marinate this with salt, turmeric and a half spoon of lemon juice. I have also added black pepper and white pepper, half spoon each. Salt of course according to one's taste. Now two seeds have fallen from the lemon juice. I need to remove that and I need to marinate this and keep it for 10 to 15 minutes before I start cooking. If you want you can keep it in the fridge but I have put it outside only. The ingredients required, I have taken 3 green chilies which are medium spicy, I have chopped them. Your 2 red dried chilli which I have de-seeded, I need only the skin part, I need to chop this as well. Few garlic cloves I have already chopped and this is the coriander leaves which I need to chop it again. In the pan I have taken 3 spoons of oil. Now in this oil I need to fry the garlic first. Whatever thing I need to do, I mean if I need the, if it is garlic prawn, so the garlic flavor has to dominate the entire dish. So I have put the garlic in the oil first. Let this get fried for some time and then I am going to add the dried red chilli which are de-seeded. This need to be fried along with the oil and green chilies. Now this I am going to stir fry this for some time because this oil will have all the flavors in it, garlic, red chilli and green chilli and after that I am going to put coriander leaves also. So all these flavors will be incorporated in the oil. After this has been done, I am going to add the marinated prawn. As soon as I add the marinated prawn, it will release a lot of juices and in this juice only the prawn will get cooked. Prawn will not take much time as we all know, it gets cooked very fast and prawn has, I have put a little bit of lemon juice so that will keep the prawn soft and juicy. So as you can see, it has released a lot of juices or uh, water and it, get, it is getting cooked and it needs to dry up also. Now I have added the chopped coriander leaves also and I have to just toss and turn and this garlic prawn will be ready. I have just covered this, see the amount of juices it has released after covering it. So this needs to be dried first and this garlic prawn is ready to be served. This is an excellent recipe, very tasty and please have it with steamed rice. I am sure you will all love it. It is very simple. The ingredients which I have required are all home ingredients easily available. So this is the final look of that garlic chilli prawn. If you like the recipe, do like, share, comment and subscribe. Thank you.